they were riding, it started raining, um, and then all of a sudden it started hailing pretty heavily, so they stopped. Ryan got off of his four-wheeler, um, went under a tree um, to protect himself from the hail, leaned up against a tree, was looking at a map on his phone, and that's when it all happened. Heather Cross says what happened was a miracle. Her husband, Ryan Cross, spent the weekend with friends near Idaho City riding four-wheelers and dirt bikes. They had no idea the storm was coming in other than it just it showed up. But he managed to survive the powerful bolt of electricity channeling through his body. From the hospital bed, you can see a red stripe down Ryan's chest from the bolt. Heather says it entered through his head and exited out his back. You know, you just take storms for granted. Storms grow quickly and come on you quickly in the mountains and you have to be prepared ahead of time to take caution early. As KTVB meteorologist Larry Gabbard explains, sometimes electrical energy is already brewing in the air even before you see lightning or hear thunder. Storms can develop so fast and based on the ruggedness of the mountains, you can't see it coming. The best thing to do in a storm when you're out in the middle of nowhere and you have no protection is to be the smallest thing out there. He says, move to shelter if you can. If not, get down low and ride out the storm. In Ryan's case, the bolt was so powerful, it left the gear he was wearing hot to the touch and shredded. It's something that I will never say again. It will never happen to me. She's absolutely right. I guess we are learning that it can happen to you. Now, I just want to let you know a little bit more about Ryan's condition. He did have some bleeding in his brain and there was some concern that he might even be paralyzed from this lightning strike because it did exit out of his back, you know, kind of where his vertebrae is. However, doctors say that he is going to be fine. But as far as a long-term recovery, that's something, Dee, that's just really still unknown mm -hmm. at this point.